What is up viewers? This is D22 Responses with you today and what I am going to be teaching you is how to make a custom thumbnail on YouTube if you are a YouTube partner. Now this video is basically going to help you out once you make YouTube partner to make your own custom thumbnails but I'm not going to teach you how to cheat I'm just going to teach you how to be creative with your thumbnails so what we're going to do here is we're just going to hide some of these layers for now because generally this is just a starting point for making a thumbnail. Now what I'm going to be doing here I won't be telling you what I'm doing because most of this has not made sense to you already. So what we're going to do here is we are going to create a new design. So you're going to open up Adobe Photoshop or whatever program you have that's a photo manipulator and you're just going to click file and then open or actually no sorry brain fart file then new and then the standard size for a thumbnail I've set a template for it already is usually about 640 by 404 you can also do 1280 by 720 if you want an HD thumbnail but this is the general default size for a thumbnail so what excuse me what we'll do is we'll basically stick with 640 by 404 right now and then we'll click OK now your blank template will appear on the screen here so what we're going to do is we're going to put in our colors because right now you see it's pretty bland, pretty boring, icky, gross, pathetic, weak, weak sauce. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in some color. Now you have to make sure that your background layer is selected in Adobe Photoshop and then you'll have to select your gradient tool. So you click on the gradient tool that's just right here and then you go up into your gradient selections. So you can go through your gradient presets and you can choose the one you want. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick this one and then you can choose either between a linear gradient, spherical gradient, one with a point and one that's cylindrical and another one that is basically a diamond. So there's your diamond, there's your reflected, there's your angle gradient, your radial gradient and your linear gradient. So we'll select a radial gradient for now. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click and hold the left mouse button and then drag upwards and then there's your gradient. So basically that is a trippy color effect that you see here. So that's the basis of your background. So what we're going to do next is you're going to have to add a new layer to the project. So this basically is going to be like your picture that you're going to stick in. So we're going to just copy and paste a picture and this is one of the iways that I did. This is the lovely catastrophic Whitney Lynn. I'm going to be using her thumbnail as a example piece here. So if you print screen like a frame in your video then that's one way that you can make a thumbnail as well. You can just use a frame in your video or whatever you can. Just make sure that you don't cheat on YouTube with basically using misleading thumbnails because this is not what I'm teaching you and if you're here for that you just might as well get out of here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna resize the thumbnail accordingly to the dimensions given and that's how it is. So you'll click on you have to just click outside of your project and then you can apply the transformation so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna try and get rid of all of this background stuff although I like Pokemon as you can see in the background there what we're gonna do is we're just gonna zoom in on the picture and then we are gonna do what's called a magnetic lasso tool Photoshop will have this as well but your other photo software may have it GIMP but not paint though paint won't have that this is usually in a professional grade photo editing software so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go around the lasso use the lasso tool and edit around her and you have to be very careful this because it will stick to anything and you have to make sure that you get the you have to get the points right so that it doesn't doesn't basically get out of hand too much. So we're just gonna go around her hair like this and then we're gonna go down across her shoulder like that and then we'll stop there and then we'll contour the lines across from here and then we will connect the points. Now I find this very easy to use because it allows for all of the coordinates to go accordingly. So what we'll do next is we are going to click on edit and then copy or you can press control C if you're using a PC so we're gonna create a new layer now which will basically be the blank portion and what we're gonna do is we are just going to solo this 
so we can get rid of the background there and you'll see the outline still and then what we're going to do is we're going to reposition the new layer oh if it's hidden we're going to reposition the new layer so what we'll do next is we'll click control V we're going to press control V or you can go up to image or edit and then paste let me just show you how to do that again we're going to undo that you're going to go edit paste so basically the image will appear in your background because you've gotten rid of almost everything there now this is what I usually do I usually reposition the thumbnail like this resize it accordingly so that it fills up a certain part of the thumbnail as you can see here I made sure that it filled up very well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the transformation just click outside there and then what we're gonna do and this is what I normally do is I use what's called a smudge tool so that we can get rid of all these excess edges as you can see here I'm smudging everything down so that it looks good now you you other partners may have a way of making your own thumbnails I mean this is just my way of doing it because I want to keep up appearances and I don't want to use up too much time so this is one way that you can get your thumbnails perfect I mean I'm not a pro at this I'm not like an expert Photoshop artist but I am well versed to just get an idea of smoothing out any sort of edges and corrections so once you smooth that out you have to make sure that it's neat and then what you can also do is you can add any sort of effect to it like for example what we'll do is we're gonna go to where it says filter and then you're gonna go to where it says either let's try let's go sketch and then we'll go to chrome so what'll happen here is that it'll Whitney is chromed now but you can also choose anything else like base relief photocopy stamp you can do a lot of things with that and it's basically up to you with what you want to choose you can go glass ocean ripple diffuse glow just anything I mean this is just one of the best things of Photoshop you can just go totally wild with the customization and everything so what we'll do is we're just gonna go with poster edges so we're gonna stick with that and then that looks awesome because we've just jazzed it up and everything what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add our text so that is also a new layer in itself so you'll have a lot of layers with it and then we can go from there so what we'll do is we're gonna click in the area that we want and then we'll just pl we'll just enter some text like want it will be up here for the first part here and then you can resize the text however you want and then what you do is you can just apply the transformation after you resized it and then you go back into your text tool and then you can select the color like I'll select white here and then also let me tell you how to do a shadow effect what you can do is you can right click on the current text layer and then select duplicate layer and leave it as want copy or text copy and then what you can do is you can is you can oh sorry that's not right what you can do is you go to your text tool and then you select your want copy let me just delete that it's an extra layer you can select your want copy and then you would highlight that and then you would change it to a different color so then what you would do is you would drag the text out there but since it's not the right color it won't look good so what we'll do here is we'll highlight this and then we will go to blue so we'll click OK for that and your text should be blue and then look at that it'll have like a big shadow effect there so then we're just going to finish up with just some remaining text and then I'll put in two and then I'll position it here and then we'll apply that and then the next layer I'll just put in play because the name of the the name of the videos want to play so I'm basically just putting in some enticing words in front of this thumbnail so we're going to position it here we're going to resize it properly here and then you apply the transformation and then you change the color of your text to however you want let's make it a bright yellow and then what we'll do is we'll add our question mark move it over 
and then there we go. And then after you are done everything, what you can do is you can go to Layer and then Flatten Image. So it'll ask you to discard hidden layers, you click OK for that, and there you have a custom thumbnail. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this as a JPEG file and we'll just name it Whitney and then we'll just press enter and then we click OK and then what I will do is I am going to set the thumbnail. So what we're going to do is we're going to if you are a partner you will be able to get this function. So what you'll do is you'll go to choose file and then what you'll do is select your thumbnail that you just made and then it'll just say I'm not signed in, blah 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 blah. Okay, I don't know why I'm not signed in, but that's normally how you do it. That's how you put on your custom thumbnail, and then it usually appears after that certain time. So that is mainly how you set up and make your own custom thumbnail. So if you have any other questions about this, leave a comment below. And if you want to know how to become a YouTube partner, go to youtube.com slash partners, and you can find out how there. So this is D22 Responses, Gift Field for Life, and I'll respond to you another time. I will see you later. Goodbye now.